Hey guys, Nuff one two one three five here, and today I'm doing a review on the Nuff Instructor Kale Fire. I know this is a little bit late, but get used to it. Anyway, okay, let me just tell you right now, this is not brand new. I got it off a friend today. He, like, I showed him my cyclone shock, and he was so fond of it, like how powerful it was. So he swapped the Hail Fire with all four clips and darts and for the cyclone shock. And these. So, and I've, now I've got, I've got myself a hail fire now. And next week, my friend Oscar, he said he wants um, a strife. Oh, I don't, oh, also I've got this. I've got a friend. And uh, next week, Oscar said he wants a strife for a deploy. So I will be getting that strife and I'll be giving it to him. So I get a deploy and uh, expect that video next week. No guarantees. Um, okay. Let's go over some features. Uh, I've already loaded the batteries up, you don't believe me, look. Yeah, it's pretty loud. Okay, let's go over some features. We have a clear jam door. We have this little handle here, which is to rotate the mags. I don't like it. You can just use your hands, just like. But it makes a very loud ratcheting noise, and I don't like that, so I'm just gonna sit with this. Tactical rail here, tactical rail here, down here, back here, this orange panel is where the batteries slide into, you just unscrew these, take it out, and then you put the four double A's and then put it back in the screw back in the end them. Two triggers here. We have a rev trigger, and we have an actual main trigger that we can't pull unless this. Look out. It's very loud. I don't like the loudness. I mean, if you compare this to a Strife. Now, that isn't, now, now, that isn't very loud, but listen to this. I'll even put it over to the mic. Listen to this. Leave in the comments which guns you think revs louder, the strife or the hail fire. I think the hail fire. Anyway, let's show you how to attach the blast shields. Well, not the blast shields, just the shells. Okay. Now. On the shield here, there's one end with a, sh with a rather short piece, and there's the other end with a, a longer piece. So, the longer piece goes to the back, the short piece goes to the front. So, let me just show you this. Uh, and then once you get those in, you just push in the tab. Right here. That's one end. They do the other. And you hear that click, that misses in. Do the same thing with the other one. And then, once you hear that confirming click, you know it's in. But I'm not going to click, so there we go. Now they're in, and they come off. Wow. They come off with a chance of smack. Let me just put that back in. There we go, no, I don't, think, uh, no. I, don't think, I don't think it will come off now. Nope, it doesn't come off. And there's also arrows on here, you can't see it. Um, where's my flashlight when I need it? There's arrows here. There's an arrow that tells you where the, how, well not where, how the um, clips spin. Let's go over some pros. You can fire pretty rapidly with this. I'll show you how you do that in the firing test in a minute. This gun is very loud. No, this is still in the pros. We have tactical rails here. Tactical rail here. We have this handle. Clear jam door, which is good. And we have 
in intergate I don't know. We have yeah, those green things to let you know that your jungle's completely close so you can fire. If it's not green then you can't fire. Um yeah, and let's move on to the cons. Cons, it's very loud. The handle is a bit finicky because when you when you actually got a mag you have to like, like go go like this. And I don't like that because sometimes it doesn't feed very well. And yeah, that's pretty much. And I don't like the shields. You can take them off. I'll show you how to do it now. You just have to push it on the tabs, I think. Just push in all the tabs. Okay. We just pull, but I'm not gonna do it now, I don't wanna break it. So, that's the hellfire. Let me cut to a scene with it loaded all up, and then I'll shoot it for you. Boom. And I'm back, keep in mind, uh, the hellfire does not come with six, not six, five, six round clips, which I have here. It only comes with four, but I had another one here, so I forgot to use that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight mags now. That is pretty nice. Okay. So the way you put them into the gun is not too hard. Here, you always put them in here, and there's a, 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 a little lever here that clicks into the gap. So you don't lose your gun. I know I'm in a very awkward position, but just, you know, whatever. Okay. Now, let's do this. Put that in there. I should go for this because this is very loud. I don't want my parents annoying me. Should I show the camera or the wall? I think we should have the wall. This is a very big gun, by the way, and a very heavy gun. See, this is why sometimes it doesn't feed that properly. I do not like this very much. Okay, let's get on to some feature. I mean, yeah. So, you can theoretically put every single mag that you have in here. Except one one exception. You can put your twelve in there. Put eighteen in there. But you cannot put your twenty five because it cannot fit. And also when you have this much mag in your uh, hailfire. If you want to, if you're gonna one hand this, it gets super heavy. You cannot one hand this. It's far too heavy. So, and even with the 24 and the 18 only them two in there is also quite heavy. So there's no point of you doing this. Look, if I just take out this one, you can't even fit the 25 in because the 18 one's in the way. Even if that in, they can't because look. If you put in the 25 and the 5, 6, you still got two slots that you can't fill because of that. So you're wasting just two clips that you could you could put in without this. Well, that's the end of the video. I hope you all enjoyed this. Uh, expect a deploy video, maybe somewhere around next week. I don't know. Don't know guarantees, just, you know, bye-bye.